Honestly, Nvidia is misleading consumers here with the RTX 40 series, especially with the 4080 options. Come follow me here and take a look at this because this is crazy. So um, you can take a look here on their page. You can see the comparisons between the 4080 16 gigabyte and the 4080 12 gigabyte. And you can see that, okay, obviously the gigabyte size is different about four gigs and you see that the cores are different. The clock speeds are a little bit faster around the 12 gigabyte, but they everything should sort of be the same. That's what the average consumer would kind of go out there and see. But when you actually go somewhere, because I had heard about this difference, um, uh, the news about this, I want to see this myself. And when you actually go and check it out, like on Wikipedia, where you get a bigger breakdown of the specs, they're not even close to being the same card. And they really shouldn't even be both in the same family. Like a 4080, that kind of sets a certain standard in the videos talked about with the sort of the 80 series within their series of cards and 80 model within their series of cards. And you get this. This is honestly misleading. Like, look at the differences here. The only thing that really is the same is the the GDDR6 memory, if you look at it. Like, the core sizes are different. The, the die size, excuse me, are different. Uh, the CUDA core mounts are different. You can see that the SM counter is significantly different. L2 cache is significantly different. But then you go all the way down here to bandwidth. You can see that there's a significant difference between that. You can see the bus width, significant differences between that as well too. How is that a 4080? How is that 12 gigabyte model selling at 899 when it gets about that price is a 4080? This is Nvidia trying to cash in on the 4080 name. Cause when you take a look at the 30 series cards and you take a look at what this really should be here, that's just 4080 should really be a 4070. And if you take a look, if you take a look at what they launched a 3070 at, 499 and 3070 Ti, which actually I have that one and EVGA one, yeah, we know what's been going on with EVGA lately. And you can see that with launching at 599. Take a look here, 899, significantly more. They're clearly trying to cash in on the 4080, the 80 branding right there to get more money out of consumers. Now here's the kicker even more with this. This card isn't getting a Founders Edition card. So the chances of finding this at MSRP of 899 when you start dealing with add-in board manufacturers probably not going to be the case you're probably going to be looking at maybe 950 a thousand uh this probably maybe even close to what the 16 gigabyte cost it may a little bit less obviously but yeah i mean maybe even at best this will probably you'll see some of these at the msrp of what the 4080 is in some instances i could definitely see that that's crazy so no one's it, it, like nvidia is not doing things that i really feel that should be consumer friendly and, and obviously they're a for-profit company and I get that but come on with this here this is what makes it so exciting that we're seeing stuff coming RD, RDNA 3 coming from AMD and it's exciting to see what Intel Arc is doing because the competition needs to be in this space and really needs to be in there and Nvidia is clearly and like I said in a previous video and you can check this video out right here they're clearly not for gamers anymore they're clearly to me in my opinion targeting a different audience and you can check it out in that video right there and let me know what you think thanks for watching